A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. A city of opportunists. A city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. Century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine itself. <laughs> Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon, or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue 
and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Shield. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering You around. went through a lot together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. sure about this. It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Officers Phelps and Dunn, can you tell us anything about this gun? Mr. Wesson, 
Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One-of-a-kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. We really are full of it. Schroeder, apartment two. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. You ready, tough guy? Huh? That was... Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting...